my name is Mike Brennan. I work as an academic, a management academic at Ulster University. I'm actually a local person. I went to school here about a mile and a half from this building in the 1970s in Belfast, which was a really interesting time to be here. Uh, so what I do is that I work with other academics and uh, uh, NGOs on a project called Safe Water. And for people in the audience, there are three things you may be interested in. The first thing is that it's, sorry, it's about water, a global challenge called water, which is incredibly uh, important, as I've, I found out over the last year in, in working in this area. A second thing is that it's a global challenge. It's an intractable, difficult area that a lot of people have been working on for many years. And it's very difficult to solve if you, if you can ever solve that. So we've um, got together and are working in this area. The third thing is this, this very long word, uh, transdisciplinarity. Uh, and what we're doing at Ulster is we're trying to work across different disciplines to see whether we can actually have a better impact. And the reason why I'm saying that is a lot of science and technology people that, I, that I've worked with in the past come up with solutions which actually aren't used in the real world. So what we're trying to do is to include and be led by, in a sense, our partners to do this sort of, uh, this sort of work. So three things, it's water, it's global, and transdisciplinarity. Uh, our consortium is um, called Safe Water, and our objective is to look at low-cost technologies for safe drinking water in developing regions. We're funded by GCRF, which is the Global Challenges Research Fund, and we're one of 37 that are funded uh, by, by the UK government. Um, the key thing here is our partners. We've got uh, partners from the University of Medellin in Colombia, uh, we work closely with and go over to Colombia. Our partners come over to here as well. And it's really looking at how science and technology can be used in new and different ways. Our other partners are from the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil. And our NGO partners are Cantaro Azul and CTA, uh, Mexico and Colombia. And in total, we are about 50, 55 researchers. Uh, we work together, we've been doing this for about a year, and, and it's a really big and exciting project. Now, one of the things about transdisciplinarity is you start with a problem, you don't start with an academic gap in knowledge. So we, I was out in uh, Bogota about a year ago, and we start off with a real tangible, an issue that is a, of, uh, you know, has to be dealt with. And in Colombia, there's l lower lack of treatment of water, there's access to safe drinking water is problematic. There's co contamination. Uh, there's low income areas and there's inadequate technology. So it's a multifaceted problem that we are trying to unpack and see what we can do that actually can deliver water in a safe way to people. The things we take for granted in this country are not accept accepted or not, don't exist in our, our partner communities organizations. Um, where are we located in the sustainable development goals for the UN? Well, we're, we're doing number six there, clean water and sanitation. That's where our uh, collaboration is trying to focus in on. But more importantly, perhaps, is this idea, number 17, partnerships for the goals. And that's where we're being instructed and challenged by uh, engineers and scientists and NGOs who actually work uh, in the different countries that we're dealing with. And that is a, as a lecture in innovation and creativity. That's an incredibly powerful way of challenging the assumptions that we have about how we do things. So it's not us coming up with a solution using nanotechnology to purify water based in Belfast and bringing that to somewhere else. We actually work with other scientists and people from NGOs who work with us to try and come up with uh, solutions that are appropriate to the setting that we're in. And that, is, that does challenge our assumptions. Um, this is a busy slide, but basically our approach to this is trying to make sure that this scientific, this uh, right-hand column, 
is a scientific approach to solving uh, water purification. But as well as that, we're trying to explicitly link in with this societal circle as well. So this middle part is what we're trying to do, is to come up with common research objects that try to span science and technology, but also the reality of a community which can't have access to clean water. And this is a challenge to us. So this is the TD approach, transdisciplinarity. Uh, and as I say, we're being in challenged and informed by our colleagues uh, across the world, basically. Who's involved? We have a couple of colleagues from Ulster said to start about our nanotechnology center. We're, nanotechnology, for most of us who know nothing about it, is the, the science of extremely small things. Uh, we've got engineers, we've got biomedical scientists, environmental engineers, computing and mathematics, psychology, law, and myself. I'm the token management academic who's involved in doing this. And, and I should emphasize, these are, these, are not these are not from Ulster, these are from our partner universities, as well as our NGO partners. We're all in this together, which is a very powerful way of doing this. Um, TD is what I'm interested in. If anybody in the, in the room is interested in uh, this area or is already a practitioner, I, I'd be very happy to talk about that. And the bottom line is the TD tries to improve impact. It tries to start with a problem and work backwards and see how appropriate technology and science can be brought to bear to the problem. So we're not starting with the science, we're starting with the problem. And this is what this is all about. This is a way of, for large research teams to try to engage with problems in a meaningful manner. Another busy diagram, but I find this really good when I show this to my scientific colleagues, they groan. But basically what we're trying to do is to move from disciplines such as science and technology or healthcare, top left-hand corner, to this detail here, which is safe water is the circle, and this is the academics, and this is the NGOs. We're trying to work together towards this solution because what happens is if you work in a silo, you only see a partial part of the problem. So we're explicitly trying to develop our capabilities in this area. So we were inspired by this. This is from an academic called Tress, which if you're in interested in TD, it's a very, very interesting approach to problem solving. Uh, the outcomes, we're trying to reduce the instance of waterborne diseases. We're trying to build up a strong network of experts in different settings because context is important. We're trying to do poor, pro per development so that our solutions are cost effective. And also we're trying to set up a framework for TD research to look at other, other problems that we, we can, we can uh, deal with. Interestingly for my scientific colleagues, as I said, I, I'm a management academic. I deal with creativity and innovation and how organizations and communities organize. The problem isn't really science or technology. It's about communities and how they engage with science, how they engage with a, a problem. So this is often a challenge to my colleagues that I work with. It's not about science and technology. So the science and technology is a solution wrapped around with some social uh, value model, if you like, and that's what we're, we're starting to, tr to struggle about or un uncover it. So it's, about, it's not about science and technology. It's about a community who have a problem, and we have to deconstruct that and try and see how we can solve it. So we've started to do this. We've got scientific interventions. We've got social interventions. We've got health and well-being. And we've also got economic. So one of the things that surprised me was the fact that communities are interested in social enterprise, social innovation, and venturing that is of benefit to themselves uh, so they can proactively take control of the situation dealing with their water. So emerging issues are perception. Um, one of the things that surprises my colleagues in science and technology is that water is not, can be viewed not only as a product, a thing that must be cleaned, but it can be a social thing as well. We had a group in Mexico uh, three weeks ago. And water can have a mythical uh, sense to it as well, that a community will object to any interventions that are trying to purify it using chemicals, which surprise a lot of us. It's also from top down to bottom up approaches. Uh, it has to be local, it has, has to be contextual, 
and has to work for them. And also making sure the technology that we use is uh, changed, modified to fit local conditions. My time's up, so thank you very much for listening to me. <laughs>